Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alan, and I'm from the United States, specifically from New York. And welcome to my channel, Brazi Jikas. In this video, I'm going to teach you some more phrasal verbs in English that we often use in conversation. As I've explained in other videos, a phrasal verb consists of a main verb and a preposition. Since adding the preposition completely changes the meaning from the original verb, these have to be memorized. So today, let's learn eight more phrasal verbs commonly used in the USA. Number 8. Sail through. If you sail through something, it means you do it fairly quickly and with ease. Traffic made us late to the airport, but luckily we were able to sail through security and make it to our gate on time. Number 7. Dwell on. This next phrasal verb means to spend a long time thinking or talking about something, often something bad or unpleasant. She really needs to stop dwelling on the past and move on. Number 6. Jot down. To jot something down means to quickly write it somewhere so you can remember it later. I like to keep a notebook while watching movies and TV series in Portuguese so that I can jot down any new words I learn. Number 5. Set back. Set back is a phrasal verb that means to delay or impede the progress of something or someone. Many people think that in just four years, social progress for minorities in the USA was set back decades. Number 4. Cash in on. To cash in on something means to take advantage of or benefit from a situation. Allegedly faking a Spanish accent, the woman was accused of cashing in on people thinking she was Latina. Number 3. Blurt out. If you blurt something out, it means you abruptly say it without thinking of the consequences. Full of excitement, he blurted out his thoughts on the ending of the movie, ultimately spoiling it for the people who hadn't seen it yet. Number 2. Tag along. To tag along means to go somewhere with someone else, often as a last minute decision. Do you mind if I tag along with you to the store? I need to pick up a few things. Number 1. Draw in. This last phrasal verb means to attract someone or cause them to be involved in something. Marvel fans will already be watching, but WandaVision is sure to draw in people who enjoy sitcoms in general. So guys, that was my list of 8 phrasal verbs commonly used in the USA, part 14. Knowing and using these will help you sound more like a native speaker. If you enjoyed this video, or learned something new, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Until next time, and thanks for watching.